striking targets in the air. The second day's event involves a whole range of weapons, including automatic rifles and anti-aircraft machine guns. It has attracted the highest number of participants of all four events at the Games. This clear sky event tests the Army's capability to conduct air defense attacks. More than 120 soldiers from seven countries are taking part. They have to travel about 10 kilometers on board fighting vehicles to take down helicopter targets and diving targets, among others. The Chinese Army delegation comes from the Missile Troops Unit in southern China. With an average age of 22 years old, most of them have received at least one year of training. The most important skill in this event is missile strikes. Once that mission is completed, one can pursue a gold medal. It is the most difficult of all the challenges. Belarusian participants have a mixed military background. They are selected nationwide from both ground forces and air force troops. We've prepared for this competition for more than six months. We had a series of training exercises, including firing machine guns, driving infantry fighting vehicles, and missile strikes. The Clear Sky event has two more phases of competition, featuring combined anti-aircraft skills. Winners will be defined in accordance to results of each contest, as well as to team standings. They will be awarded cups and medals when the event closes on August the 12th. Meng Qingsheng, CGTN, Xinjiang.